Safari Small Schools is offering a free homeschool workshop for parents this summer on June 4th at 2 p.m. Central. To learn more, text SAFARI to 33777. And so what I do is, as these kids learn um, a thing, they master a concept, I created a checklist of the state standards. And so what happens is, as we address that standard, I will write down what we did and the date. I write it down so I can ent I enter it all in the computer later. It's just easier for me when they complete something to go ahead and jot it down. Mm -hmm. This little fella who's the, the four-year-old, he's at four years old, he has almost cleared all of the state standards in reading, writing, math, and science for kindergarten. And he's four. He's almost cleared all of those kindergarten standards. So if his parents were to put him in big school for kinder, he's way ahead, way ahead of his peers. Mm -hmm. And so if nothing else, if nothing else, if he got nothing else, he got a super jump start academically. My concern would be that the, that would not be maintained in public education because they're not going to give him the one-to-one -one or small group attention that he gets here. The social training that he gets here that is on the spot and embedded in instruction every day, he won't be getting there. Right. If for some reason he's just not focused or not keeping up, he'll be left behind. That's an unfortunate unfortunate difference between staying here and then moving back into the system. Kids will be ready to do well academically, but outcomes might be different because the level of service they're getting here is not going to happen in public education. Uh -huh.